Now joined by Adrian Batts, head coach of the Jeanette Jayhawks boys basketball team. Another year, another postseason berth for Jeanette. Seems like uh, you can pretty much pencil that in, but it wasn't necessarily easy at times this year. 13 and 7, including 7 and 5. And what was a very competitive section, top to bottom, I know that every team was threatening for the postseason up until the final week. How does that maybe prepare you for what's to come in the postseason? Well, it definitely prepares you. Obviously, you know, our section, like you said, was very good. Um, kind of knew that going in. Um, you know, we lost quite a few that were uh, very close games. Uh, came down to some free throw shooting. And uh, obviously, we didn't make the ones we should have. You know, probably would have had a better record. Um, but it was a dogfight every game, no matter, you know, and, and who you played. Um, well, you know, Leechburg, Riverview. You know, two teams that didn't make it to Springdale. They 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 played like they were the 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 first place team in the section. So, you know, it was it was a really competitive section. Uh, uh you know, th- you know, our, our guys hung with it, and you know, we were able to secure the third spot. And you did so by winning your last two games against Springdale and then at Riverview. Both narrow victories. You won by four points and five points. But how does that maybe help build some momentum now heading into the playoffs? Well, obviously, it's always good to win games, especially close games. Uh, you know, we went to Riverview on their senior night. Uh, uh, was down a few and, you know, it was a back and forth game. Really good, really good high school basketball game. And, uh, you know, we found a way to do it at home. You know, we were up 10 with a minute and a half at against Springdale and somehow – faltered uh that lead and had to make some free throws to, to seal it um and you know the week before that we were at Clareton and had an opportunity to win the game and we missed a free throw to take into overtime and they end up playing end up you know beating us by five or something like that but it was really really three uh hard fought games because you know those guys were fighting for their playoff life so you knew they were going to give you their best and uh you know going two and one I, I think that should help us. You know, only problem is we'll be off for a week. Um, you know, so we got to find somebody to scrimmage to uh, stay in that that game shape and game mindset. So, uh, but those games definitely helped us uh, or are going to help us for the playoffs. You, you had some guys that you knew you could count on who were back in the fold, who played on last year's team, but you also had a lot of newcomers in a variety of different ways who made contributions. Uh, Gio Marola, the transfer from Penn Trafford has been, dynamic he's a terrific three-point shooter we've seen him get red hot Kamani Brown's a freshman and he's played key minutes you have a guy back in Noah Sanders who did not play last year how have those guys really boosted what you already had in terms of your returning core well I mean as as much basketball as you watch Sean you know it no matter what level if it's high school college pros guards are the ones that win games for you um and I you know those those three you named they all have their own uniqueness, what they do, what they bring to the table. Um, you know, been watching Kamani for years come through the program. Um, you know, I, I had a vision that he would have a really successful high school career. Even a, this year, I, I knew he would be pretty good. I mean, he plays Tyler Way you. Um, you know, obviously there were some other guys we thought in mind that, you know, we would have, but obviously those things didn't work. And uh, you know, Noah's been been uh, he was a starter in the first few games of the year. And then we had, uh, uh, you know, we made a decision to bring Kamani in and, and, you know, let Noah back up. And he's been, he, he's doing a great job guarding. He's been making some shots. Just a little, he's a little more comfortable at his role now. And obviously, you know, Gio, Gio was a, you know, something that happened out of the, <laughs> I, I, we never knew that was going to happen, you know, but he, you know, he came in and, and, uh, he's been, you know, our, our leader just, you know, scoring, uh, been doing, you know, that's what he's known for, but he's also been doing it on the defense end too, which is, you know, proud. Um, he, he bought in and, you know, he's a part of it. So, you know, I'm thankful for that. We mentioned the seven and five section record. And so as a result, you get the number 11 seed in the two, a bracket going against number six, Northgate. What did you anticipate? And what was your reaction to finding out you were the 11th seed? Uh, you know what? I, I thought we'd be anywhere from nine to ten. I mean, nine to eleven. Um, uh, I thought we'd be might be. I thought we might be ten. But at this point, it doesn't matter who you play. All teams are good. Um, you know, I, I 
I, I don't really put much stock in the, to the number. You know, you got to go to play. You know, you got to do little things. You got to, you know, I, I wish that it was the way it was in the olden days when you played on neutral floors all the time, you know. Um, but, hey, you, you got to play the game. So, you know, we we, we just – we're happy to be in. We're, we, we're, we're happy with our seed. We, you know, we're in. So, you know, it's zero, zero right now, our record. Um, we got to win four to be a, a champ. So, you know, let's, let's, you can't get to four until you win one. So, uh, you know, we're happy where we're at. Just got to go play the game. I know you haven't really had a deep dive into Northgate, but they are a team that tied for second place in section one behind only undefeated Aliquippa. When you think of, what will be key against Northgate to have success? What comes to mind? Well, you know what? We're, we're playing on their floor. So, you know, we really going to have to come out and set the tone defensively. We got to limit them one shot. We got to rebound the heck out of it. Um, you know, when you're on the road, it's, it's always the same formula. You got to defend, rebound, take care of the ball, and you got to make the gimmies, especially in the playoffs. You, you have to make those wide open layups. And when you get to the free throw line, you got to shoot a high percentage. And if you want to win on the road, those are the keys to the victory. Uh, so it, it's, it's you know, I'm sure it'll be a, a hostile crowd, but there'll be a lot of Jayhawk fans there. So, you know, we travel pretty well, so it'll feel like a home game at some point. Um, we just got to do the little things and, and stay stay focused and locked in, Oh, you know, the game plan, and, you know, we'll have a chance. Well, Adrian, thanks so much for doing this. Congrats on getting back to the postseason, and good luck heading into playoff action as well. I appreciate it, Sean. Thanks for having me, my man. Take care. Adrian Batts, head coach of Jeanette.